Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play What's It Worth, our weekly game when we ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of five items from the PTL mailbox. So we want to say welcome back, Dr. Lori. Good to see you as always. I love the casual look with your ball cap. My cap is my vote for the best ice cream. You know I'm a big Penn Stater. <laughs> and oh. the University Creamery is my vote. Hard ice cream. And I happen to like Kiki Paterno. <laughs> I will say the, the Penn State Creamery, if you go to Penn State, you been. must visit the creamery. Oh, my gosh. You've never <laughs> been? <laughs> oh, Heather. Oh, it is so good. And I, I mean, I'm a soft serve fan, but I, the cre they do such a good job there. Road trip. I will set okay. you up, Heather. I will okay. set you up. Looking <laughs> forward to that. Okay. Yeah. Um, Dr. Lori, we wanted to start with something Larry sent us a picture of. This is a movie magazine yep. with Shirley Temple on the cover. Larry's piece is actually Shirley Temple on the cover. And what it is, is it's a movie magazine for 10 cents from um, way back when, the 1930s, 1940s. And you could purchase it and do a couple of her drawings in the background. You can see her drawings behind it. She's holding a crayon there, you know, sort of looking pensive as an artist. <laughs> it's a wonderful piece. It's in good condition, it's not in great condition. I like Solander boxes, which are acid-free boxes to preserve some of your memorabilia like this. If you like to collect print or magazines or newspapers, Solander boxes are a very good idea. Hmm. So uh, condition is good to f fair to good, um, and it's a piece that was relatively rare. We don't see a lot of them out. Uh, let me ask you about like. The the audience for a piece like this. So I would think, like, did, does it become more valuable when people who remember Shirley Temple well are still alive? And then does it become less valuable actually over time the farther you get out from that? Yeah, so I always say, your Marilyn Monroe, your Frank Sinatra's, your Shirley Temple's, your Joan Crawford's, those golden age of Hollywood people, you gotta start to get them into the market now yeah. So you can, in fact, get them to those people who are going to like that. Again, I will tell you that there are millennials and very young people who are getting interested in these old movies, particularly with all the options that you have now with um, streaming and live streaming options. A lot of people are saying, oh, I want to watch this and maybe I want to start to collect it. So it does go in waves. Huh. But yes. So David, you you're like hip them. again. So well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you just right. wait long enough, you just come back into <laughs> hipness, Heather. That's what I've learned. <laughs> That's what I know. Yeah, well, I've experienced that in my career. <laughs> so. Okay. Are you going to take a take, guess? I did. <laughs> All right, I said $70. I said 100 Worth $25. Yeah, I, I was going to say that. The condition that. is fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do remember that part when she said the condition was fair. I remember that yeah. too. But then she said rare, and I got all thrown off. So yeah, I know it's hard. <laughs> it's it's hard. just not easy to play. I know if you're That's playing the along at home. That's ice cream. You all want ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Next up, we have a picture of a vase, and this belongs to Mary. Ooh. So Mary had a relative who was in North Africa during World War II, and this is a piece of French art. So it's the actual shell casings, of course, that would be used with the um, weaponry. And this piece is brass, and Mary sent it in because this vase was brought home from World War II. Wow. T tell me what you said about shell casings. Well, what? basically, they're these, those, those big guns, and these are the shell casings that come out of, of course, the military. And the idea was that they'd be all around. So then in times when, you know, I guess, when times when they had some free time, these pieces would actually be designed and decorated. So oh, it's wow. a, a sort of a repurposing of the shell casing. Right, you see okay. You a lot in World War II, and usually they're vases. That is so fascinating. Right. I had no Th idea that, that, that artifacts exist. like this came out of that. Um, yeah. Hmm. So, so you, I know each individual piece then would be unique. Does that That's make right. it more valuable? Yes, yes. Each one and the way they're designed would make it more valuable. You'll notice that this one does have sort of a little sphinx on it. It kind of looks like a, a palm tree that you might see in North Africa. So that idea also relates to place. They're different from what they looked like if you got them out of the European theater or where my father was, mm -hmm. the Pacific theater, so oh, during World War II. All right, this, this is a tough one. Uh, yeah, I have a hard. guess, do you have a guess? I do, but I, this is new for us. We yeah. haven't had a piece like yeah, this before. Yeah, it's unique, so it's fun to have it. I said $1,200. Oh, see, I said $200. It's worth $100. Really? 
Yes. Get that's out, one. Dr. Lori. Yeah. yeah, no, that's what they <laughs> trade for. We've seen a lot of different ones. Yep, yep. I think that okay. is so unique. Okay, thank you, Dr. Lori. Yeah, don't Good go question. anywhere thank because you. Thank you, Mary. we have more items coming up next. We're going to take a quick break, uh, but we'll be back with Dr. Lori. Don't you go anywhere and keep playing along. We'll be right back. You have two points now. I do.